the correct continuation, on the basis of the weaknesses mentioned, would have been Bishop e4 c2. This would have created the strong threat of, if we make a dummy move for black for illustration. a7 a6. A dummy move. Queen e2 c4. King g8 h8. Queen c4 h4. h7 h6. Rook d6 d8. White is winning on account of. Rook c7 c8. Rook d8 takes on f8. Rook c8 captures f8. Queen h4 e7. Queen b8 c8. Rook d1 d6. And there is no defense against rx h6. Bishop e4 b1 is a weaker version of the 1 bc2 idea, as there will be checks on e1 to look out for, as well as the knight coming to c3. The bishop is simply not well placed here. Knight c5 b7. Rook d6 d7. Rook c7 captures d7. Rook d1 captures d7. Knight b7 d8. Queen e2 e4. Queen b8 b6. King g1 h1. Queen b6 c6. Queen e4 takes on c6. Knight d8 captures c6. Bishop b1 e4. Rook f8 f6. Rook d7 c7. And white should win this endgame. King f6 e6.
queen b8 e8. An undesirable move, but unfortunately also the only move. Queen e2 captures e8. Rook f8 takes on e8. Rook d6 d8. White has a clear advantage, for example. Rook c7 e7. Rook d8 takes on e8. Rook e7 captures e8. Rook d1 d5. Knight c5 e4. Rook e8 c8. Bishop b1 f5. Rook c8 c7. Rook d5 d8. And white wins a pawn. Rook e8 c8. Bishop b1 f5. Rook c8 c7. Rook d5 d8. And white wins a pawn. Knight c5 e4. Rook e8 c8. Bishop b1 f5. Knight c5 e4. Rook d5 d7. Queen e2 captures e8. While it may not be realistic to expect white's attack to be successful against the best defense, it is possible to use the weakness of the h7 pawn, only defended by the king, who does not really count, and the long-term weakness of the a7 pawn to create serious threats. In the game white focused exclusively on the queen side and had only a modest advantage. Bishop e4 c6 King g8 h8 Queen e2 h5 Queen b8 b4 Queen h5 f5 Knight c5 d7 Queen f5 e6 Knight d7 f6 Knight c5 d7 Queen h5 f5 Knight c5 d7 Queen f5 e6 Knight d7 f6 Rook d6 d8 h7 h6 Rook d8 captures f8. Queen b4 captures f8. Queen e6 d6. Queen f8 f7. Rook d1 d2. Rook c7 e7. Queen d6 d8. King h8 h7. Queen d8 d3.